our, our next guest. They are visiting us on this, their very first trip to New York City. I mean, how Unbelievable. Are we? This is a special moment for yeah. us. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just the, two of the eldest brothers in the new show, the new reality show, The McMee Dynasty. The show takes a deep dive into their family, their ranch, and their lives. Do you think dad would trust you with taking over the farm? That ain't gonna happen over my dead body. Oh, uh, you think you're the head of the table, huh? I am the head of the table, bud. Unless you wanna fight me for it. This family in the drama. <laughs> right now, we're $50 million in debt. Galena's our CFO, and she's been working to borrow $105 million. The success of this deal is in Galena's hands. You better be nice to Galena, because we need her for this. What's up, handsome? You want some coffee? Well, I oh guess he was stars. being real nice to Galena. Yeah. Ha! Huh. So this show <laughs> is being described, oh, it's being described as Yellowstone meets Succession. I love it. Can you imagine? Yes. It takes place on the McBee family's 40,000-acre ranch in Missouri, mm -hmm. Missouri, giving viewers a look at the high-stakes world of farming and ranching. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, please welcome to New York Living, Stephen and Jesse McBee. Yes, here they are. <laughs> Woo! Happy well, how are you? How are you guys doing? Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Steven. Oh, I'm Steven. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse. So nice to meet you. Alex, Muddy Soul. Come on, have a seat. Yes. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, I, your water is safe. Okay. I almost drank it by mistake. How are you guys okay. doing? Doing, how you doing well. well. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get can we get shoe cam? Look at these oh, shoes. Wow. Oh, that oh, is. Yeah. Who, ma who makes these boots? These are Tacovas. Tacovas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a pair. I should have worn these my Tacovas. I do. I They're an indigo blue. Yeah. I messed up. Well, not the first time. Li listen, they'll come back. Good. <laughs> That's now, uh, New Yorker, New Jerseyan, mm -hmm. we don't know much about your part of the universe. Okay. So the flyover states. That's, That's right. right. They're called in country music. What's a typical day look like for you? <clears throat> like there is such thing as a yeah, day. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wish. When you're dealing with wild animals and the cattle and wild animals like my younger brothers, there is no okay. normal day on the farm. So we wake up every morning wondering what the heck we're going to get into or mm. what we're going to find. Usually starts about 5 a.m., maybe a little earlier on some yeah. days if yeah. we go till 10 p.m. at night. So typically, I know there's no there's day. no standard day. Right. What are your responsibilities to each of you on the on the ranch? I guess it varies between all of us. Mm -hmm. uh, Steven's mostly in the office handling. We call him spreadsheet boy for Let a reason. Let me see. Do you have, yeah. have <laughs> calluses? That will determine whether or not we I do. Work. I do. See, that's I see a little bit of work. That's from working yes. out, not from. <laughs> well, <laughs> totally wow. Did he yeah. pay you to say that? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah, sorry. No, obviously. Yeah. I interrupted you. He's lollygagging in the office, mm -hmm. and you are. Yeah, and uh, the rest of us are out in the field actually planting the crops, uh, working the cattle, um, calfing out uh, the calves. Calfing so, yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, so what it's spring mean? calfing season, so all the mama, uh, all the mamas are uh, calfing, so. If they're, they're having it, issues, we had to be there to pull. actually oh, calf you're, out. You're, you're the labor and delivery as well. That's, he is. Basically, yeah, yep. you're that's, the doulas. that's a good point, yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy okay. some Yeah, notes. so that gets exciting. OBGYN of cattle. You, <laughs> do you have that on the top of your resume? Because you should. You two <laughs> look look just alike. Like you can tell you come from the same family. We get that a lot. He's got a little yeah. better hair than I do, but similar faces, Someone's I older, guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, so inquiring minds want to know. You mm -hmm. have this family. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of you. Why make the decision to turn your lives into a show? I feel like what you guys just said earlier, not a lot of the country knows what happens in the flyover states. And I feel like we have a very interesting story to tell. And uh, full disclaimer, there is more drama than you could ever shake a stick at on a farm. Do they know who has <laughs> sat in that? We've had a lot of drama on All our the show. Real Housewives of every <laughs> A lot of the Real the Housewives, yeah. Um, it's very interesting because you're right, we, we do, especially from the concrete jungle, we have no clue what it's like to live. I just got back from, from Houston, I was at the rodeo, mm -hmm. and just walking through rows of livestock, and mm -hmm. my sister was telling me, you know, these people, they grow up on these farms, they raise these animals, they spend years getting them ready for the market, yep. and they, there's a lot of money on the line mm -hmm. here. So, like, this is, it's, it's the way you were raised, but it's also your business. Your livelihood. What is that it like is. now to be, to, to be meshing that all onto television? Uh, it's nerve-wracking. I'll be completely candid and honest, uh, because it is tough in the industry. There's a lot of things at stake, obviously, with us being $50 million in debt and trying to get this private equity deal to make the farm go in to our next generation, leave it for mm -hmm. our kids and our kids' kids. And to know that everything's on the line, especially throughout the shooting of this season, um, 
you know, we were nervous and we were trying to juggle filming full time with also, also keeping the businesses afloat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You mentioned having this farm for generations to come. Mm -hmm. Is there talk about who will be next in line to take over? <laughs> That is one of the major points of this entire show, actually. Okay. So, yeah, there's four of us boys, and at some point in time, my dad is going to have to choose which one of us is going to take over the farm. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of, we're all so different that whoever he ends up choosing, the farm is going to go in a completely different direction. So it's, it's intense. This is where the su succession aspect yeah, exactly. of the show comes yeah. out. Mm -hmm. So there's two of you, and there are two more? There's, there's two, two younger more. brothers. Yeah. Two, mm -hmm. So you're not the youngest. No. You're in no. the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second child. All right, if you had to guess. <laughs> Just between us girls, mm -hmm. who do you think is going to get this one? Me. Oh, snap. No <laughs> With hesitation. With no hesitation. Uh, uh, your the answer? The first one is always thinking that he, you know. Has, <laughs> I has, just has feel right like automatic my younger right. brothers don't know what? what takes place in an office. And whenever they come in and, and see what I'm doing, they call me Mr. Spreadsheet. And uh, I know before they walk in the doors, they go out in the mud and they roll around in it to make it look like they're actually doing ah. something. Oh, That's right. the here truth of it. Did you guys see the previews? You seen where I Cole mean, we, was at? He yeah. was in the bar most of the time. Well, not wrong. I mean, yeah. Not 100% wrong. That was there yeah. ever a time, or were you even given the opportunity when you were, did, was there a choice? You want to go into the family business? Did you want to do it? Were, are, all four of you were like, yeah, gung-ho, this is going to be. I think do. whenever you are born on a ranch and grow up working in a ranch, you don't necessarily choose it. It chooses mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And you just know growing up that that's where it, your livelihood is. That's what, yeah, up. it's a part of you. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. When you're, sh when you're, Starring, because for lack of a better word, you all are stars of this reality show. Oh, do you ever gosh. forget um, that you're mic'd or that there are cameras there? Do you, are you ever like, blah, ooh, if only I could bring those words back? Yeah, I would time. say, yeah, at the start of the season, we were probably very aware of always mm -hmm. being mic'd up. Mm -hmm. Towards the latter part of the season, we kind of got a little. Yeah, especially my brother Cole. Yeah, you get like <laughs> one drink in us, and all of a sudden, we forget you let that loose. there's way yeah. Yeah. Well, that's when the good television happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there's plenty of it. But, but this is not your first rodeo, right. quite literally. You have experience with. Uh, reality television. You were on Joe Millionaire. I did do. You, did you did you have a sit down with with the younger brethren and and get, show them the ropes a little bit? I tried to best as best as I could. Really, mm -hmm. um, we had a few meetings going into filming, and I was just like, guys, you know, let's be a good representation of mm -hmm. the farming family. industry and yeah. of our family. Um, they failed within the first day of filming, um, but that's well okay. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> we're trying to make up for it now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I am sure you are. Joe Millionaire is where you met your. Now girlfriend. That's correct. Yeah, Excellent. we've made it. We've had some ups and downs since filming the show uh, of Joe Millionaire, but we are going strong now and have been really since the filming of this current show. Look at that. And they say you can't find real love on reality dating. Well, there we go. See, there's hope for everybody out How there. does she feel? Does she come from the same stock? How does she feel about she's this life? She's a Dallas-born girl, so oh, she's city she's born and city raised. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so growing up in Dallas and then moving up to the farm my house is five miles from my nearest neighbor. Oh, God. It's a bit of a shell shock. It's a for dream. Her. Five miles <laughs> from here is another borough. I can, hear, I, can, I can hear my next door neighbor in the house, and those were snoring in Jersey City. So, um, do you ever watch anything back? Do you ever, like, take uh, a look we watched the first half, at least I did, and I know the second half of the season I uh, said and did some regrettable things mm -hmm. that I'm not necessarily proud of. So, in my mind, if I don't watch it, it didn't happen. So, I'm just. I see, oh, I I see why actors say that they don't. Go back and watch, watch their show. Yeah, you're like, yeah. man, do I really sound like that? That's very normal. Really we hate that? watching like, ourselves yeah. as I well. Never I never yeah. cringe. Uh, we mentioned this in the open. First time in the Big Apple. What are we mm. most looking forward to? I love the food out here. We've been walking around trying out the different restaurants. We're loving it so far. So yeah. funny you should say that. You know, New York is known for a lot of famous uh, culinary delights. Chief among them, pizza. Really? So we thought we'd uh, we'd bring you some. It's also pie oh. day. It's also All right. pie day. Okay. So do you guys call them pizza pies or just pizza? Pizza's oh, fine. Thank you very much. Listen, here's what you're going to do. Okay. If you decide while you're here you want to go get some, you say, I want a slice. Give me a slice. Okay. Give me a slice. Not may I have. Give me a slice. Be as rude as possible. You'll and blend then, it. Okay. Well, you're blend, not going to blend and it. You'll blend. Now, if you're a Gavon and you want a lot, then you're ordering a pie. Okay. okay but that's this the is difference. just a slice. It's your standard operating cheese. <laughs> It's th yeah. it's not flop. as a weight yep. as we it's are. It's got a good it's got a good <laughs> flop ratio here. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold up, wait, fold. Thank you. Please. And don't, don't ever be use like any utensils. Don't be like one of the no! former. <laughs> I'm all well, like, like this. I, I'm a mother uh, of two boys. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't try to fold it. I was alarmed. You roll it up. You roll it up. Take a bite. Okay. 
There you go. There you go. Okay. Next. Thoughts? Excellent. That's it's good pizza. Well, I hope. I think it's fresh. It's got a good, yeah. yeah. It's got a good crunch. You, you made us proud. I'd say that's a good 8.5. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. Dave. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dave Pornoy.